The image of a small electric bulb fixed on the wall of a room is to be obtained on the opposite wall 3 meter away by means of a large convex lens. So we have a bulb here. The image of this bulb is to be obtained on a screen that is 3 meter away. So we have a screen here. So the image has to be obtained on the screen. The distance between these is 3 meters. Okay. And we are going to use a convex lens for this purpose. What is the minimum maximum possible focal length of the lens required for this purpose? So maximum focal length is required. Okay. So this is going to be object distance u. This is going to be the image distance v. And we need a maximum focal length of this lens. Okay, so we are going to use lens formula here, obviously, which is 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 by F. Therefore, we get the focal length to be U times V divided by U minus V. Now, the total of U and V is going to be 3 meters. So, we have that. So, actually, we'll have to take the magnitude of u. So magnitude of u plus v is going to be 3 meters here. So let's use the sine convention here. So u is actually minus magnitude of u. v is going to be positive since we are going to obtain an image on the screen. And then again, the negative of magnitude of whatever the object distance is, subtracted by v this v is going to be positive now in the denominator we see this term to be opposite of this okay so this is actually so minus u minus v is going to be minus 3 so this is going to be minus magnitude of u times v by minus 3 so eventually we get the focal length to be magnitude of u times v by 3 so there are two approaches to obtaining the maximum focal length the focal length is maximum when u times v is maximum when the product of u and v is maximum so this product has to be maximum. So there are two methods to this. So the first method that is the official method we use in case of such problems is the differentiating method, the differentiation method. So we take the derivative of the focal length with respect to u or v. So we differentiate. So this u, magnitude of u, this can be written as 3 minus v. So this is 3 minus v. u is 3 minus v times v by 3. So we differentiate this focal length with respect to v. So we differentiate focal length with respect to v. Now since the focal length is maximum, the product or the sorry the differentiation has to be zero the differentiation of focal length the derivative of focal length with respect to v has to be zero so let's take the derivative so we have 3 minus v v square so this is d by dv of 3v minus v square so 3 minus 2v is zero so we get 3, 2v, 2v. So v is 1.5. Now since v is 1.5, u or the magnitude of u is 3 minus v. So even that is 1.5. So the object distance and image distances are 1.5. Hence the focal length 
f is 1.5 times 1.5 by 3 so this comes out to be 0.75 meter or 75 centimeter so the maximum focal length for this event to happen the maximum focal length for the image of this light bulb to be focused on the screen is 0 0.75 meter or 75 centimeter that is the maximum focal length so this is the first method the differentiation method the second method is a bit of common sense method So second method, we write common mathematical sense here, we use some common mathematical sense. So we see here for focal length to be maximum, the product of u and v has to be maximum. The product of these two numbers have to be maximum. The sum of these two numbers is fixed, that is 3 meters. For the products to be maximum, the 3 meter distance has to be divided into two parts that give maximum products. So this 3 has to be divided into two parts. So the two parts can be any number. So let's take for example 1 and 2. So 3 is divided into 1 and 2. Now their product is 2 meters. We can take other numbers for example. Let's divide 3 to 0.5 and 2.5. The product of these two numbers is 1.25 so we divide any number we, uh, we break any number into two parts and take their products the maximum product is going to be when we break their number when we break the specific number into half so when we break 3 into exactly two halves that is 1.5 and 1.5 the product is going to be 2.25 this is the maximum product we can obtain from any two parts of 3 or in general any number so we have a number n and we have to break this number into two parts n1 and n2 the product n1 n2 is maximum only when these are halves of n so this is some mathematical common sense so uv is maximum when both of them are half of 3 so that is both of them are 1.5 so for that also we get the same value 75 centimeter so in general this common mathematical sense can be used not only here but in specific problems where we need products okay so this is the official method that is going to be accepted by your examiners for mcqs and entrance exams or in general to check your answers you can use the common sense method okay hope this helped thank you